G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Shawoodle, and welcome back to 7 Days to Die Inferno. Just as a quick little recap, in case you missed the first episode, this is the series where if you go out in the sun, you get set on fire and you die. It's not especially fun and it's made just moving a couple of feet down the road especially difficult. And the only way I can move right now is by building myself these little kind of like bridges of shade from one building to the other. I built this one overnight just a second ago to get across to the next area, but it's still night time so I can go outside, but as soon as that big ball of flame pokes up over the horizon over there, I two will be a big ball of flame but i did figure this out i can build supports for these verandas i'm making with poles so i can still move past them but i can build it a little bit easier but before the sun gets up i need to get inside this next building and get cracking on all this stuff out here needs to be looted and i need it all in my pockets i've gotten ambitious because i'm so bloody desperate for wood not only for frames to move between places but also to upgrade fortifications or build anything or get arrows or whatever but i'm risking it to get this tree. There we go. There we go. Got five minutes to get inside. Got to get your hustle on. Down. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Down we go. Fuck. Fuck. Get out of the doorway, please. Inside. Oh, God. Okay. That's what I mean, though. That's where the problems lie. I can't go out in the street and fight like a regular human being. There is the daytime, so you're all a little bit slower again. They almost pinned me. They almost pinned me outside in the sunshine. That was almost a disaster. Four seconds in. Whew, that'll get your blood pumping in the morning. More first aid bandos, thank you very much. And some overalls, which are worse than I'm currently wearing. All right, well, I can just scrap you for some extra cloth fabric then. This, I think, is a like a chemistry POI or like a, a doctor POI. So there might be some good gubs around. We might find the fabled sunscreen today. And if I do, I might get just a little bit naked, whip it out and take off like a bleeding helicopter. But I was going to have to wait till later. Don't get your hopes up too early, Josh. I can see a couple of zombies in here, but I'm pretty sure these shells are the one that has the really weird hitbox. Like that should be a nice clear shot was a nice clear shot. All right, you'll love to see it. Spattering noggins all over the place. You too. Is there anyone else? Yeah, look, meds, surely. Surely you can find sunscreen anywhere. It's going to be here. Though it was like designed to be like a mid to late game item. Definitely not going to be found that early or at least not for chump change over at Trady Potatoes. Some more aloe cream. Thank you. Uh, nothing else really. Okay, okay, that's fine. I may have blown my load by coming to a, a chemist this early, but I had to try. You never know, you never write yourself off. I'm not sure I want to grab the keys and open this door just yet. I'll come back to that. Quickly head up this ladder first though. Oh, I'm trying to remember. I'm trying to remember what's in this POI and how dicked I might be. Oh, some cheeky bed supplies, though, for more aloe cream. You'll never believe I've ever been more excited to find aloe around the joint. Drop you. Bonds are mate. Skill point to spend. And that point is immediately going into... Where were you? Weren't you in... Wait, what? Weren't you in here? Leave off the land. Leave off the land is important for aloe, but more important... Is it intellect? Physician... You suck a shit, you lock- mm, I need that! I need my first aid bando so freaking much and you're so far into the intellect tree. I freaking hate the intellect tree, god damn it! I guess maybe, like, do, do I spend, what is it, four skill points to get that then? Even with XP goals, it's still three. So I've got to go intellect one, two, uh, two points there, and then the third point in the position. So it's three or two points, depending on if I've got goggles or not. It's pricey. It's very pricey this early on when skill points are reasonably hard to come across. I, um, maybe what's more important then is going Master Chef so I can make myself some bacon and eggs. We'll come back to it. We'll come back to it. Let's check out what loots I got out of here. A pipe rifle, a full auto trigger mod, which can't go into any of you. And some cheeky snacks. Don't mind if I do. Thank you very much. Lava equipment box. Got any sunscreen for me? No, first aid bando, but you know what? Definitely going to turn that down. Thank you very much. So the way out is going to get me burned. I don't really want to go that way. Back down the, the stairs, back to my little bridge. I'm just going to go this way then. Nothing else for me here. I've already looted the entire joints. Uh, wait, hang on. Is this is this the front door? I think it might be. I need to come out underneath the awning so I have some sun protection. Despite the sun being like low in the sky and having beams coming in sideways, it is like... 
in the way that seven days thinks it's if there's a block above you so the actual shade of the world like being under a tree doesn't matter which is a shame it's kind of what i hoped for but wasn't to be so yeah maybe brightest dicks out here right now but as long as i'm underneath something i'm fine all the way back to here back inside we go i can go and cook some shit up Okay, early morning raid, done and dusted. I think I just need to bite the bullet. I just need to accept that I can't rely on the RNG to give me the schematics that I need. So bacon and eggs is going to be more important than the first aid bandos this early on. I mean, they're both very, very important, but I can't sacrifice all those points to get the first aid bando recipe. So you... Bacon and eggs. You can access all the stuff out of my chest to my right of me. So that's bloody lovely. Here you go. How good's Waikai though? Wireless crafting. <laughs> crafting over Wi-Fi. Therefore, Waikai. I'm actually going to keep my bacon and eggs on me. Because you're worth 18 health a pop. So if I get battered a bit or sizzled a bit... Like, that's about as good as, like, two-thirds of a first aid bando. So, I'm not quite as fucked up as needing a first aid bando. I can save that by using the bacon and eggs in the steak. I'm not starving to death just yet. So, I think we're okay. Although, I might need... Mm, I might need to start prioritizing getting myself some murky water then. You can come with me. Although, I'm in the desert. And everything is definitely evaporated by now. How I'm going to get myself some fluids, I don't know. But I'll be on the lookout for it anyway. So now we're back to this problem again. I need to get across the road over to there to get into the next building. And I can't step foot outside of my little protective sheath here. Uh, slight problem. But if I go like you, grab my poles, go a little bit... Oh, shit, fuck, sorry. Okay, I can't go that much further out then. Let's give myself a little bit of protection to build. Ow! Why? I was undercover. I was undercover. Slap on a bando. This sucks. Using those poles as some way to build myself these architraves is way, way easier. Attach it to the lamppost over there, across like this, and just make sure we're walking directly underneath. So bloody dicey, man. So bloody dicey. Can I stick you on... Oh, shit. On the side like that, please? I need to go around the pole and get across the road. <sighs> Of all the things I've ever struggled with in the seven days, this is not- Oh, fuck! This is not one of them! I need to figure out a way to build this somehow easier. Because at the moment, I just kind of can't. Uh, it's got like that. Can I, like, just, like, slap a block on top of you? Almost. Oh, wait. I can- If I can time that perfectly- Huh! No, not like that. Oh, almost. If I can time that perfectly, I might be getting a block on top. Then it's too high, slowly descending, but I might be able to at least get across to where I need to be. Up. Damn it. Up. Yes! Ha 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 ha! Lovely. May have laughed like Pauly Shaw in a freaking goofy movie, but I do not care. Fucking chat up, where's he? I found a better solution. I found a better solution. Put a ramp on the ground. That gets me the elevation that I need, which means I can get the pole that I need. Uh, no, wait, the block that I need and chuck it on like that. Much, much, much simpler. All the way across to them. And then across like this. I mean, it's <laughs> it's right on the cusp of not being support, but I do not care. Across we go. I'd love to be able to, like, make it higher again, but it's probably a pretty big ask. Just got... Oh, shit. Damn it. Just got a long way to go to get back to where I need to be. I just need to get under that awning and we're golden. Oh, my God. I'm out of frames. I'm out of frames. I can't get across any further. I've got no more wood. Can I break you down for wood or something? Go right to the edge of that one. Can I reach? I mean, it's some wood. It's not much. <laughs> this is what I was worried about. 16 more blocks. Oh, it's going to be tight. It's going to be really bloody tight. I've got my post over there, though. Oh, there's some wood right here. Thank you. Bonk. One extra splinter. Thank you. It's one extra block. All right, let's try this again. Stay, make sure we're underneath you. Want to go rampy block like that one. Uh, let's go that way. Oh, oh my god. I'm so close to being cooked. So close to being cooked. But like that. Where am I? Oh god. I'm like inside the block. All right. Fair enough then. But along like you. That should mean that I'm good. Almost. There we go. Yes. Yes. We can. Oh shit. Fuck. Why? I was safe. Oh, I'm so hurt. I'm so hurt. First aid, bando, bacon and eggs as well. Everything to try and get me healthy again. <laughs> Look how much effort I've gone through to get three buildings across. I think we're there. I think we're there. I've got three blocks remaining, but I can stick that to that bit there. One, two, ooh, three. All right. Well, let's just pray this works out. Hi. Oh, just... <laughs> Who would have thought moving one meter would be such a scary proposition? We're now under the balcony, in the shade. Oh, okay. 
Right. Well, at least I have a way back again as well. Man, this this is hard. This is a lot harder than I really considered to start with. Oh, fuck off. Fuck off. At least now I can, like, battle you out in the balcony, though. Got some room to maneuver. It's not all downhill from here. No, shit. Piss off. Piss off. Get bleeding, please. Please die faster. Thank you. I've hit the same problem again, right? I don't think I can go out here because there's no blocks up above me. So I'm caught. Ooh, is there? No. Despite it all being in shade over here, that doesn't count. Cause oh, shit, because there's nothing above me. Balls. Uh, I'm very hurt. We'll go another first aid bando and just pray we'll find some more. Scrap all the chairs I picked up for some extra wood. So, oh, where's it actually going to take me? Maybe I just have to beat my way through the wall over here then? Hmm. There's a lot of people who need me to go outside, and I just can't do that. I can't wait. I can't wait to get some sunscreen and be able to move around properly again. I'm getting real thirsty as well. I'm just going to have to try and, like, beat my way through all the walls through this whole POI. Like, yeah, I could, like, try and follow the lights through everything, but I have to go outside and burn to death. That's not going to work for me anyway. I know that I can go, like, four buildings along in this one POI without getting burned, so looking forward to that. Excuse me, Cement. I'm coming through... I don't know. We'll get to all the rooms anyway. We'll get all the loot we need. Just have to do it a bit differently to usual. I've run out of feathers for my arrows. And as much as there is a... Look at that. Look at that. Right there, there is a bloody bird's nest just outside the window. And plenty more out there as well. Another one over that way. Normally, I struggle to find the bird's nest. But now the game knows. So it's just laying them on me all over the joint. I can't go get them. So I can't make myself some more arrows. Maybe I can go find myself like a vulture or something to kill and harvest them up. Take the nails. I don't actually need the lead. You can piss off. Uh, you can get scrapped for stone. Don't need cement right now either. Definitely need the wood. Oh, see, look, imagine how good it would be. Imagine how good it would be just to plonk you, plink you in the noggin and sit you down. It's a shame. It's a damn crying shame. Do you reckon there was any, like, any bird's nest next to my little path out there? No, I don't think so either. All right, well, shit out of luck. Gotta get bold with it. I'll just jump down. I'm clattering him a little bit. Oh, oh, get away from the food stash. <laughs> Get away from the food. I don't want to accidentally break the canned food by breaking your face. Grab you. Force extra sham. Thank you. Medical supplies for just some aloe. The sunscreen icon is the same as the aloe, but much darker green. You'll see it, hopefully, eventually when I hopefully find some. So every time I see that icon, I get a little bit fizzy, but it's not to be. Don't need any bullet casings right now. I've got to be a little bit uh, more judicious in what I actually take with me. Do you want to go that way? Isn't is oh there's stuff up in the ceiling I didn't go to. Okay, well, I'm, I see that. Let's get up there. See what's going on up the top. Oh, that's what's going on up the top. Uh lots of zombies. It didn't spawn in, so I got up here, up my little ladder here, but that's okay. Oh, some more outside as well. I can't fight those guys, I'm gonna have to come in and join me. Oh, I wish I had some feathers. I have some feathers back at home, I'm pretty sure. Mm, I'm just gonna sneak on over. Nice and quiet. In fact, the range on the sledgehammer is much better than the club, isn't it? I want to go to the power stroke and go for broke, but that might knack me for the follow-up with the club. But let's see how we go. All right. Apparently, I can't reach quite that far. Uh, wait for your stamina to come back, Josh. There you go. Close. Just like... Oh, jeez. Moaning in his ear. Got the follow-up hit, though, and <laughs> dropped him down. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. There you go. Ooh, cheeky lunge. And then... No. Shit. Cheeky bonk. Yes, yeah, good. Ooh. Ooh. It's getting very dark outside. Does that mean... Does that mean I can go outside? Now, to start the series, I had, like, the environmental protection. So, I think it was that protects me rather than the actual sunlight. That's as tempting as it's ever been. As tempting as it's ever been. Let's test it. No, damn it. Come on, please. You can still get sunburned when it's overcast. I know that, but this is ridiculous. Well, there you go. Lessons are hard learned. It may be overcast and drizzling, but you're still going to wear your sunscreen if you want to go outside. Good life lessons there. Hey, bud, I will keep you alive if you go find me some feathers. Yeah? Are you trying to shake my hand or are you, are you just very angry at my proposition? Okay, well, in that case, nope, missed you up. Just chuck your face through again. There you go. I can give you a cheeky bonkage. One more. One more. There you go. Lean forward. That's not quite what I had in mind. 
<laughs> I guess that one will do then. There we go. Got one more bloke up in the top of the attic over here. That was kind of like the initial plan that like rainstorms and stuff would be where I could move around outside. But uh, seven days just doesn't quite work like that. So as much as that was the dream, I had to kind of shelve that in lieu of just <laughs> not being able to. Sneak on over. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Please don't wake up and bonk. Oh, no. Ex shit, fuck. Extra bonk, please. God, come on, stamina. What's the point in being a sexual T-Rex if you can't keep your stamina up? God, it goes... Oh, I'm so freaking thirsty. Okay, fair enough then. Drop you. <laughs> Maybe there's a reason for my problems. I'll just be shouting at things. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this. Freaking hate hoodies. They're so freaking tanky. Oh, there we go. I've only got murky water right now. I don't have anything else to drink. I mean, can I just go outside and stick my face up towards the sky? No, it'll melt off. I can't do that either. I've got to keep on pushing because I'm just way too thirsty to really manage anything else right now. There's some more food over there with... I was going to say, hopefully no zombies, but someone's coming over here. I think there's spikes on the other side of that door, so they're all dying there. You, please give me some fluids. That'll do nicely. Yucca juice. Love your work. Put that right in your face and guzzle it all down. Jesus, who's causing that much of a ruckus out here? Just calm down. The door's open. Nah, gotta go your own way. Alright, listen, fine. You be cool, independent and contrarian. I'm sure everyone's super impressed. God, I wish I had my arrows, but I've got to go loud with this to try and clear this out. Can I reach over and blow your mind? Yeah, I bloody can. All right, apparently pipe shotgun is okay in very specific situations. Although that was about as loud as loud can be, and everyone heard that. Blue and a spring. Going nice and fast. Nice and fast. They're coming through the walls. What's the time? It's 20 to 2 already. The time is moving through so bloody quickly. And I feel like my progress is just so hampered. Repair kits and a hammer. Not too shabby. Actually, not too bloody shabby. That's shabby. How am I not dying? I'm not dying because the bloody hatch is there. Okay. i gotta, I got to build myself a landing of some kind so I can get up and out of here. Just like that. That's going to give me the kind of shade that you need. You. There we go. I need your feathers. Can I reach that? Yes, I can. 10 feathers and 30 feathers. Arrow. Wood is now my limiting factor, but that's okay. Some arrows are better than none arrows. Let's just go this way. If I can get underneath that awning over there, that's another opportunity for me to be able to move around. So actually, let's go. Mm, let's think about this. Let's go wedge. We'll get you. I'm going to try and build myself a path that actually makes sense. And stick you, yeah, uh, no, not quite that way. I want the other wedgie. That one, that wedge, I need to slither down like that from you onto that one. I'm going to go copy rotation, which is that one there. That's the wrong bloody way, dickhead. Yeah, like you. So that way, I can make myself up uh, onto that little, like, ledge over there without bonking my nog. Like you. Up, up. No, come on, you fucking idiot. No. Come on. Damn it. How did... How did that not work? Oh, fine, I'll do it. Do it your way then, game. You, ramp block, slither up to there. Take that back in because it's valuable. Move across to the door. All right, we're problem solving. That's thinking with portals. Oh, and now I can finally go like that. Get some sweet stealth damage going again. Medical box, please, 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 please. We all know what I'm after. Some more freaking roids. You trying to tell me something, game, or you're just being real dickish about it? Probably both, actually. This game isn't really known for its... Get fucked subtlety. Take that chair so I got a nice clean avenue to quickly pulperize you like freaking pulpery. I think that actually works out, but you know what I mean. You grab that. Ooh, some more purple in me boots. Now I'll keep my piss boots on for now. I'll change you out. I'll grab that and chuck that. Who wants to be purple? Who wants to be purple? <laughs> yes, I'm definitely close to being out in the sun. Of course I'm getting burned. Look at me. Not even wearing a hat. No hat, no play. It's all very quiet down here all of a sudden. Do I have any stones? I do. To quickly repair you, although that's behind everything else I'm currently crafting. Let's just use the shovel instead to remove that little sound trap and the others as well. I feel like there, mm, I feel like there might be someone cowering behind the bench over there. Mm, I don't think there's a good way for me to get around and see that. Just try and stay stealthy. Nice and quiet. No one around there. Mm, no. 
All right, all's well that ends well. Lovely, lovely. Get myself some extra ammo, steel club parts, shotgun shells, and some books as well. If you want to teach me, ooh, cooking grill with some murky water, thank you. If you want to potentially teach me how to make my own first aid bandos, or I don't know, yucca juice, or anything really, I don't really mind. I'll read both of you, and I'll read that one as well, because why not? Although, come to think of it, did I, in researching for bacon and eggs, did I also get the, I did get the yucca juice uh, schematic. Fuck yeah. Screw going to get water. Let's just live off juice. Oh god, I woke everybody up. There's the loot room though. Come on, come up the stairs. You're trapped underneath the stairwell. Not particularly clever. Get your gooey and then, hold on. Get your dead. Bonds are mate. Level five. Got a skill point to spend. Gold out with a shotgun. Was ambitious, but we'll see if my ambition can actually pay off. Wait on. We're right there. Never mind, I missed the shot. If you could all just wait until I take eight years to reload this thing, uh, that'd be great. Just me and one real ribbity galar in the corner of there, hopping around like a bloody frog. So sit up, sit up, and sit back down. All right, we're good, we're golden. A nice little safe cavern for me to hang out in. Don't mind if I do. It's also 4 p.m. already, and we're getting a little bit cucumbered. Okay, what have we got? Food, meds, passing gas box. Ooh, a learning elixir. And some snacks. Piss that off and take that. All right, don't mind if I do. Leather trunk for... Ooh, interesting. A book, whatever, it doesn't matter. When in combat, recover one hit point with every punch. That'd be bloody bonza. If I wasn't scared to get that close to zombies. Some ammo, a helmet, which I'm not wearing right now. Okay, that's not too bad. You can have that one straight away. Whack you in. I'll actually repair you as well. Couple of seconds, that's all good. And whack you on me noggin. Thank you. Scrap the springs and get more later if I need it. What am I missing? Anything at all? I don't think so. Medical supplies for... No, 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 no. No, uh, no sunscreen yet. The day I find sunscreen is going to be a red fucking letter day. Last of the loot. Have a quick little squeeze. Car parts box. Sledgy schematic. An oil shale. Not really useful right now, but probably useful later on. Chuck you on. The problem with the heavy armor, though, is it does mean that I'm louder when I'm trying to move around and stealth shot zombies. So potentially a bit of a problem, but we'll deal with that later on. That's all fine. All right, let's get up and out of here then. So this is the end of this whole POI area. Is there no... Wait, is there no key? Why, why, why can't I leave? Why am I trapped? Where's the key to get out of this place? Did I miss it down here? No key there. No key there. That's very unusual. Oh, I can't go out this way anyway. There's a bloody spike at the door. Uh, okay, well, that changes that plan of action just that little bit. I might actually quickly try and run back home just to drop everything off. I have an easy path through the sunshine underneath the shade all the way back to where I need to go. I need to get back there, see if I can grab some yucca along the way. That Oh, I missed you on the first time through. That's probably tonight's job. Go out and get all the yucca and... So, oh, so let's get there for a second. And some more aloe if I can as well. If I can make that yucca juice and survive off that, that's going to be much more beneficial than really anything else for this early. Let's make sure we go straight underneath like that. Uh, that terrifying little block there is not going to fly. So I'm going to put in a little block like that so I can just stay with it all the way along. Looking up at the roof to make sure I stay underneath. Oh, could have made this a straight line? Well, I couldn't really because it's going straight across there. Maybe with a bunch of like, uh, like ramp blocks I could have, but not to be. Ooh, Cole's books. Cole's books. If I need a first aid schematic, that seems like a pretty good place for me to be going to. All the way along like this, all the way to... Oh, no, up, up you go. And underneath it. Ow! What? Why? You lying sack of shit. I never went in the sunshine. God damn it. Oh, I can't help myself with that though. Cannot help myself with that at all. Give myself a little awning just like that because those pop... Stop lying to me, Brian. These piles of wood are so good for getting wood as a resource. I can't go cut down trees, but little like piles of firewood like this. Look at that. Stacking up all the wood in the world. And I need the wood to make myself the frames... Another 50 of you. Thank you. And I'll actually grab those ones back again. Thank you very much. There we go. <laughs> I'm building myself some infrastructure, but not quite how I thought I would. I can't help myself. I have to make this look a little bit better for me. Just because, like, if I'm going to use this as, like, a chimney, which I didn't really mean to, but it looks like it kind of could be, chimneys have that little kink just above the fireplace. If I put you into the hue like there, quickly upgrade you to regular wood, and then get the same one again. No, not that. Uh, advanced rotation, please. And just fling around the other way. Like, come on. Yeah, there you go. Like that. 
I mean, you can't really see it, which is why it's a waste of materials, but at least it makes sense in my head. Now I know that the smoke from that is going up and let's just pretend it goes up and out the roof. Lovely. It's 6.30 or 20 to 7 rather. And I, ooh, yucka, thank you. And I have a date with Cole. Uh, can I, do I put that point into, yeah, I should actually, I really should, shouldn't I? Into living off the land. Cause double the amount of like aloe and yucca and all that kind of stuff is going to be a lifesaver. I just can't justify spending all those points to get the first aid bando recipe. It's so far, ooh, so far beyond the pale of what I think is a reasonable expenditure. You, that's, oh shit, damn it, Josh. I was gonna say, maybe I'm underneath the awning up the top, but not clearly I wasn't. Takes off so much health each time as well. That sun is not here to fuck spiders. What's your plan here, Joshy boy? How are you gonna get across to there when you have no no real way of building anything. Let's do what we've been doing so far. Chuck up. Uh, yep. No, ooh, no, not there, actually. Up oh, too late now. Chuck up a pole like you. Grab the block up the top and chuck you along. Ooh. See, this is where this is where it starts to get a bit dicey when you have to try and make the transition from your little built path to your actual path. You go like that. I might actually just get rid of this little railing here so I can slide right on through without too much of a grievance. Oh, yeah. This is, um, this is, <laughs> this is interesting. This is a definite challenge. I think I finally started to get this down using the ramp. I can kind of clip through the ceiling there and chuck you out as far as I can reach and take advantage of my little clipping thing and chuck some blocks up the top. This is about the most efficient way I can think of doing this. If someone has a better idea on how I should or could be doing this, please let me know because this is just all I've got to work with right now. I need a stone to repair my freaking stone axe as well. We're close though. We're close. We're almost there. That should just about do it, I think. Yep, no gaps. We're all fine. Like, yeah, in two hours, I could have just kind of run here. Ooh, I don't think. I don't think you count as protection. I'm going to get rid of you and put a different one in. Just find a way into the building. That'll be fine. I've got a couple of hours to clear it out. And then, once the sun goes down, I can start careening around like a headless galah, looking for yucca, looking for freaking uh, aloe, anywhere I might be able to find. You just go like that. No, I'm not going to the door. I'm not going to the door. I'm going through this way. Any way I can get inside is a good way. Windows open. Everyone, please cross your fingers and your toesies and any other appendages you might have that this is where we find our first aid bando schematic. You're going to the door. That's all good and gravy. It's going to quickly have a little read while you're faffing about. Couple of bits of paper. You're stuck in there. You climb up. Hit you once. Oh, shit. Take a couple of steps back. This is... This is right on the cast. We've been very bloody dicey. Give my arrow back. Thank you. And just give you a bit of a whale. You've got all the good coppins back there. Stop holding out on me. Ooh, some extra wood as well. Got myself a pistol schematic. Thank you. I'll grab the wood in a second. Let's just check the loot first. Oh, please. Please, I'm desperate for it. If you just want to lay some love on me, gods of seven days, I'd super duper appreciate it. Tell me some extra damage to bears. Never a bad thing to have. Another full auto trigger mod. Some first aid bandos, thank you. And a tier five knife. Well, I could just scrap you and use your remnants to repair the new version of you. Like freaking Dr. Frankenstein. Regular bando and some steroids. Not much else. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Don't get disheartened too early. We can keep on trying. There's a bloody wall safe in here. And I don't have any lock picks. Dang. Dang, dang, dang. Okay, well, I'm going to quickly go upstairs, break out the mostly broken piece like you. Uh, I have to break... Oh, I'll break this part instead then. Rather than breaking the corner here. You, so I can shut down some ladders. The picker upperable ladders are the best things to come out of Alpha 20 by a good margin. G'day, Superstar. How are you? Catch you bloody later. Fuck, when the shotgun actually works, oh, it gives me the fizz. A full first aid kit, some extra aloe, thank you, but not really that much else. Jump, almost. Jump properly. Oh, for goodness sake, I can't grab the bloody bag. Right there, please. Come on, you're basically licking the zipper. Can you just reach out and grab it, please? Up you get. No, up. Oh, fine, fine. <laughs> Making this more difficult than it needed to be. How have we got to here? There you go. Finally, anything good. Another bone knife and some painkillers. Actually, not too shabby. Anything to give me health back when I get burned to death, I appreciate. I'm going to duck outside real fast and just grab some stones out of the road using my tier 6 shovel. Thank you. So I can repair that. So I can spend the last half an hour of daytime before it gets dark enough for me to go exploring. Beating this bloody wall safe to death. I want to know what's inside you. I want you in my life. 
I'm sorry it had to be this way. There's 2200, which means all the zombies outside are much more dangerous, but the sun is less dangerous. So, you know, tomato, tomato, you win some, you lose some, or in this case, I just lose everything. I'm halfway through the safe. Well, I am now. Uh, so I'm going to keep on trying with this. A couple of hours spent on this to maybe get like a decent gun. Finding like a proper gun is the first like major hurdle in seven days. If I can get a pistol or anything that isn't a fucking piece of shit pipe shotgun, that's going to make all the difference. We're so close. We're so close. Last couple of swings and open. Lovely doubly. Please give me something good. Please give me something good. <laughs> of course, you can fall 15 meters when you're carrying five grand or more. The bloody um the expensive healthcare book. I'll take you. Um a playbook. I can go straight into probably there actually. Shark it on the arms. Not that I think it matters where it goes, but we're all good. Right. Not only is it night time, it's also raining outside. That we we know that doesn't really help us though. I think we're good to get going. So I need to quickly. Now that I don't need to worry about the sun, go out and grab all the yucca that I can. That's going to give me the hydration that I need. The problem with it being nighttime, though, and also raining and also foggy, is I can't see far enough away to know where all the zombies are. So they might actually sneak up on... Shit. Might actually sneak up on me. Everyone keep your eyes peeled. Like a less delicious kiwi fruit. Oh, and I got the honey out of that, too. Fuck yeah. So, okay, you know what? If you give me honey, but you don't give me first aid bandos or sunscreen, I guess I can live with that. Oh, jeez. Just all the little things I need are slowly coming together. But I'm definitely not counting my chooks. I can hear distant footsteps out here, but I can't see anyone. So I'm definitely not going to like run around and waste all my stamina on my speed as I hold shift and charge around a little bit. I'm going to try and keep my stamina with me as much as possible. So I do need to bail and get back home to my defensible position. At least I have that option. Some more aloe out of you. That was just my own footsteps giving me a fright, but that's fine. God, whenever the bloody thunder claps, I try and like look through the lightning to see if I can see anything. I can't see shit on a good day, let alone it's pissing down cats and dogs. Throw some more yucca out of you. How are we looking on that? How are we looking? Got 22. That's enough for 11 yucca juices. I heard. Did I hear? Oh my god, I'm, going, I'm getting paranoid. I'm getting paranoid. I'm getting a little bit worried. I've grabbed a lot of gubbins, and I think I should just go home rather than pushing my luck. Quit while I'm ahead for a change. No eggs in you. I'd love some more bacon and eggies, but I found a grill. So I got myself some grilled meat at the very least. Grab you. Yeah, it's looking pretty good, actually. Looking pretty bloody good. You can go into there. You can make myself some more arrows, please. There you go. In fact, I'm close enough to. Oh, wait, am I close enough? No, no, I'm not close enough. I think the radius on the wireless crafting is 10 blocks. So I still gonna be like relatively close by. But yeah, you know what? You know what? I've done enough. I've done enough for one day. Let's get back inside and just hold up in the dryness up there. I've also rearranges my notes. Here's some fuel for you. So can I make yucca juice, please? Yucca juice, yes I can. 10 of them, definitely a good call. In fact, I'm gonna make this box here. Ooh. Oh, yeah, you can go into there, actually. This box here is going to be, like, my medical supplies and food box. I usually have one time for me to immediately start sorting out my inventory, which is impressive, given it's only day two. Normally, it's, like, three weeks down the track before I even consider doing any sorting. You can go into there. Give me anything else that kind of applies to that. <laughs> the Molotov still scares me, because I can burn down my house. I do not want to do that. Give me all the you. Uh, that's medical supplies. Anything else, really? Mm, no, I don't think so. I think that's mostly everything. Right, all of you go into there. So if I need you later, I can find you. There's enough animals cruising about that I might just make myself some grilled meat as well. Just have a good supply of both things I need. Use some extra fuel. There you go. So I've got hydration and I've got cessation. That's not a word at all, but the food version of hydration. I've got that in there as well. I think we're looking kind of okay. The storm has passed. I need to figure out though, in fact, while it's night time... Which is the way up to the next level? I think it was... Oh, it was over this way, wasn't it? Out here. No one's around. Okay, we're fine. And up to the tippy top. I know you're thirsty. Calm your bleeding farm. I need to find where a proper city is. When I first like, came up with this uh, with this concept, with this challenge, I didn't anticipate being stuck in a giant western town. Shit happens sometimes. You can't really plan for where you're going to spawn. Well, you could, but that's not really my style. I really plan these things ahead of time. This is where I happen to spawn, so that's an extra layer of challenge. But if I can find... This bloody dust storm could fuck off. If I can find where, like, a proper city is, that would be wonderful. But by the looks of things, 
There's fucking nothing about, except for out in the wasteland, but I don't want to go there yet. My only clue is that this highway continues on all the way down to there, then turns right and continues on between the buildings down there. So that's all I've got. Oh, actually, there it is there too. And by oh, a long way on the horizon, I don't know, potentially... That could be the grid for a city, like the grid of the roads you can see, like that renders in before the POIs does. So that might be where I need to go. I guess we'll keep on pushing north. Like, you know, pushing north through all these buildings to see what we can see from the other side. And then at some point, load up and ooh, loot bag and get ready. <laughs> One of these nights, I'm going to have to make a charge all the way up north. Quickly grab some hydration because it may be daft, but I can't turn down the opportunity to get some free loot. I'm going to quickly run while it's night time and I don't get burned to death all the way up here and grab that loot bag. Or more aptly, a lure bag. It's luring me out of my safety. You, real fast, grab that for iron shovel and some foods with shotgun rounds. Lovely. Thank you. Then skedaddle right back to safety again. I'm not feeling that brave just yet. That's going to do it though. I think I'm going to find a little shadowy corner to try and be as stealthy as possible. And that's going to do it, I think. That's going to do it for the second day of Seven Days to Die Inferno. So far, a very steep challenge, but I feel like every little step I take, every little like, uh, like increment of progress I get is so hard, uh, hard fought that it's very bloody rewarding to get it. So I have to leave this episode here. I'm having a lot of fun with it. I hope you guys are enjoying it as well. It's a different way to play. But it's exciting. It's exciting and fun. And I'm frothing at the gills to continue on in this challenge. We'll have to come back and continue the challenge in the next episode. Because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to the patrons of Patreon who made this episode possible. If you liked it, make sure you hit the like button down below. And subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter. If I don't talk to you there first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.